Mr. Biter here. And in this episode, we're going to look at changes in matter, both physical changes and chemical changes. Matter is changing all the time all around us. Let's first look at physical changes. In a physical change, what is happening is it's only changing in its form or appearance. Maybe its shape is changing or maybe uh, the size is changing. But in a physical change, there is no new substances form. It's the same thing before and after the change. Let's look at some examples. We have cutting wood, shaping Play-Doh, breaking glass, ripping paper, boiling water, melting ice cream, with all these same stuff before and after. If you cut wood, it's just a smaller piece of wood. You break glass, it's just now broken pieces of glass. Oops, oh no, I spilled some water. Spilling water is only a physical change. Oh, let's clean it up. This paper towel getting wet is only a physical change too. The water is still water. The paper towel is still a paper towel. It's just wet. It has water on it. So it doesn't change what it is. In physical changes, things stay what they are. They don't change into new substances. Let's take a look at something else. Let's make some salt water. I have some salt here, we're gonna pour it into this water. This is only a physical change. The water is still water. It's just that now there's salt mixed with it. Both retain their properties. Nothing new is being made. We just have salt, which is still salt, mixed in with water. It's a physical change. Here's a post-it note. Let's rip it in half. Still a post-it note. Rip in half. Still a post-it note. It's made out of the same stuff. It's just in smaller pieces. Because it didn't change into something new, we know it's a physical change. The same substance. Chemical changes are also called chemical reactions. And in a chemical reaction, matter changes from one thing into something new. The atoms are rearranged and a new substance is formed. Chemical bonds are either broken or made and the atoms get rearranged. Examples include rusting iron, baking cookies, frying an egg, bubbling, baking soda and vinegar mixed together, and burning gasoline. In all of these cases, a new substance with new properties are formed and the atoms are rearranged and new substances are made. Now what, now what could we do to change this into something new? Oh, I know. Let's light it on fire. Let's use a match. Even lighting a match is a chemical change. If we light something on fire, then it changes what it is into something new. That is a chemical change because a new substance is formed. So burning, combustion, all of those are chemical changes. So if we light a piece of wood on fire, we know that that is going to be a chemical change. Yeah. We can't talk about changes in matter without talking about states of matter. And there are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. There are other ones like plasma, which is ionized gas, that we're not going to talk about in this particular video. But there's a lot of states of matter. Solids have a definite shape and volume. The particles don't have a lot of kinetic energy, but they're vibrating in place, and they can be found in crystalline structures or amorphous. There's also liquid, which has a definite volume, but not a definite shape. It'll take the container that you pour it into, and the particles are moving around each other. 
in a gas, there is no definite shape or volume. The particles are going all over the place. They have high energy and they're filling whatever container you put them into and they're gonna head off all the sides. Now solids, liquids and gases can change into each other depending on whether energy is being added or removed. The red arrows here represent energy being added into the system and it can go from a solid to a liquid or a liquid to a gas. If we remove energy and we have less less kinetic energy then we have condensation and freezing and that's how it changes state.